what would you say? Are most people having a phenomenal life today? No. But I'm here to tell you that you can have a phenomenal life, and we hope that we'll at least inspire you to take that action that Jim was talking about. And the action that you need to take, you're born to win, but in order to win, to be the winner that you were born to win, you've got to plan to win. That's why this is called Born to Win Business Planning Conference. You've got to prepare to win. How many of you know, uh, how many of you have heard of the late John Wooden, the basketball coach? Late John uh, Wooden, best, uh, greatest basketball coach who ever lived, said the, the championship games that, that uh, were won were won in practice. In fact, he was quoted as saying that if uh, he could relive any one day in his career, it would be practice day. Because he knew that where uh, winning took place was in practice. Preparation. You got to plan to win. You got to prepare to win before you can expect to win. Does that make sense? Now, what we're going to do is today, the whole day, we're going to work on ourselves. Because the fact is, is that the phenomenally successful person builds the phenomenally successful business. How many of you would uh, agree that your small business has a dramatic impact on your personal life? How many of you would also agree that, uh, let's just be honest here, time, time to be honest, how many of you would agree that sometimes our own things that are happening in our own life or not happening, the things that we're doing or not doing, get in the way of that, right? So we have to work on ourselves first. And another thing that uh, Zig says is that you are what you are and where you are because of what has gone into your mind. How many of you understand that the battle is in the mind and for the mind? Does that make sense? So we're going to work on that a lot today because what I found is that some of you are like me. I'm from L.A. originally, uh, lower Alabama. <laughs> and uh, you tend to be a slow learner, you know, kind of hard-headed. So we need to hear the same things over and over and over. So we're going to work hard on that today to understand what's in here and how to change what's in here. So you can change what you are and where you are by changing what goes into your mind. Does that make sense? Is anybody else freezing to death? No? You guys good? Okay. That's fine. Just, just me. That's good. Um, Jim was talking about being committed. Jim was talking about being committed, and I told you that the, the greatest thing other than the grace of Almighty God and the people that he has put in my life has made the biggest difference. The, the, the one thing that's made the biggest difference is going to things like this and, and learning and really being around people and, and reading books, and, and those books were written by people, and the fact is, is that all of business is about relationship, isn't it? Really, all of, all of business and all of life is about relationship. So I'm so grateful that uh, you guys came all this way because what happens at these events is relationships are built. And what we found is that it really, uh, success in life and success in business, that it requires community. It requires relationship. We're here to support each other. So here's the wonderful thing. We're going to have some great speakers, but the fact is, is that the folks uh, at your table, the folks that are, um, you're going to meet at lunchtime and on break, uh, are going to have an incredible impact on your life. All right. Um, we have a word that we use around here. So I'm going to ask you every now and then how you're doing, and the response is phenomenal. All right, you ready? How are we doing? Phenomenal. Okay. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let's go. All right. Um, first of all, do you remember why you went into business for yourself? Was it to make a lot of money, or was it really to be your own boss, to chart your own course, to have a little more 
free time. Yeah, right. The brutal reality of most small business owners' lives is you feel like a slave to the business, very little family time. Business consumes your mind 24-7. Major stress, no real freedom. You feel like you have a job instead of owning a business, and your day is consumed putting out brush fires. Anybody ever feel like that? Yeah? All right. So uh, the only reason that I was uh, mentioned in the Born to Win book and, and had the pleasure of working with uh, Mr. Tom Ziegler on this is because he's trying to flesh this out and make the connection between business and life. And we started talking about the greatest business lesson that I ever learned. Now, 27 years in business, working with some of the top trainers in America and being able to to enjoy some of the things that I've been able to enjoy. How many of you would like to know the greatest business lesson that I ever learned? Are you ready? Now, some of my uh, members and clients, they already know this, but the question is, do you live it? And the answer to that question is, the only reason your business exists is to be a vehicle to help you achieve your life goals. Period. End of story. So think about this word vehicle. See, you have to look at your business as a vehicle that it's going to take you someplace. In fact, the, the definition of coaching, where that word actually came from, is, and, and Ziegler likes to say that they're in the transportation business because that word coach came from the old stagecoach, right? What does a stagecoach do? It takes you from one place. A coach takes you from one place to another. It takes you from where you're at. Hey, Amber, uh, from where you're at to where you want to go. Yeah, Zig Ziglar says you cannot perform, consistently perform, inconsistent with how you see yourself. Does that make sense? You can't perform consistently, consistently perform, inconsistent the way you see yourself. Not that we need to be proud, just the opposite. What's my gift? How can I humble myself to, to, to see that and to walk in that? How can I have the confidence? Not the confidence in me, but the confidence in what I'm called to do. I might not even understand it. John and I have been talking about this because we just hit stride, and, and there's so much peace when you know that you're doing what it is that you're supposed to do. Still going to be struggles. Still going to be difficulties. So what you want to do is get in your zone and stay there. This is a sprinkle from Leadership Gold. And um, being with John Maxwell, I had the pleasure of kind of uh, seeing the books and the teachings and the things like that that aren't going to come out until, you know, for probably two years. And one of the things that he's really been talking to us about is uh, personal growth and uh, gifting. He did a whole presentation on gifting, and this is a gift that's been given to you that you are created with that's irrevocable. So I want you to ask yourselves, uh, what do you do well?